So diversity, as many people have already stated, diversity is not a new challenge, but it is one that is receiving more and more focus over the past 30 years, and especially for the last 10 years or so, you're starting to see you know, NIH, FDA, everybody is jumping in to ensure that sponsors are um, recruiting more diverse populations. At the end of the day, you want your um, population that's contributing to your study to also match the disease population that is going to be taking your compound afterward. So we have really made a push to expand clinical research to groups that for the last few years have not been as represented. So we're moving into rare disease. You're moving away from uh, people that necessarily live within a 20 mile radius of the site. And so we're extending the reach of clinical trials to communities that would not otherwise have had the opportunity to engage. Well, the, the data shows very clearly that uh, studies that have a mobile nursing component typically enroll um, racially uh, different groups. Uh, they tend to enroll uh, people that would ordinarily not be involved in a clinical trial. So the data, you know, we're getting more and more data that shows that uh, when we go out into a community, when we're able to send a nurse to a subject's home, we can send the right nurse to the right subject with the right equipment at the right time to conduct a mobile visit. Uh, we often find that also that people like to see a nurse that looks like them. So just even diversity in the nurse pool is very important to help people feel like they want to engage in a clinical trial as well as retention. We found a lot during the COVID, uh, during the COVID pandemic that um, some people, they didn't get a chance to engage with anyone else. The only person they saw day after day or week after week was that nurse. And so not only did it aid recruitment, but it also aided retention. We've had a lot of sponsors that have told us, you know, it was decisive for them reaching their enrollment goals. It was especially decisive for them to reach their diversity goals. But I think some of the best feedback comes from patients themselves. You know, we get a lot of feedback from patients where they, you know, I really like my nurse because we tend to send the same nurse to the same patient for a long period of time. So they develop relationships. It's not just a one and done, but you have a personal relationship with your nurse. And so the patient feedback, I think, is the most important and at the end of the day that's what we're looking for we're looking to find ways to reduce the burden on patients and then ultimately we will see that reflected in our data we'll see that reflected in our hopefully our timelines being crunched to be able to enroll faster on studies and we'll be able to get more drugs to market sooner Sure, um, this is my second year attending the event, so I'm just looking forward to uh, liaising with some of my colleagues. I'm looking forward to learning. Uh, I always like to have the opportunity to sit in on some of the sessions and learn from what else is going on in the industry so we're not siloed in our one little corner. And just really, I come to just really learn some things this time around.